Hi folks, welcome. Coming to you from the St. Rita Shrine in Chicago. And so happy to be with you on this, the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And remember all of those intentions that we've been praying for, all those on our prayer list for peace and for anyone especially who has no one to pray for them. And of course, always pray, please, for vocations. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good and gracious God, thank you for bringing us together. Be with us, let our hearts and minds be open as we break open your gospel today. We ask this in your most holy name, amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said to him, call him. So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take courage, get up, Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way, your faith has saved you. Immediately he received his sight and followed him on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. The story of Bartimaeus, one of my absolute favorites. The story of Bartimaeus, why it's my favorite, or one of my favorites, is because it talks about our human condition. Here is Bartimaeus, a blind beggar. In the time of Jesus, the theology of the day was that if you had something wrong with you physically, you were being punished for your sins or the sins of someone in your family. Now, I could see if I'm being punished for my sins, but I don't want to be punished for the sins of my three sisters. They can pay for their own sins. But that was the theology of the day, and the theology of the day also said you had to throw them a few coins, a few pieces of bread. And so imagine Bartimaeus, how lonely his life was. He was blind, he was an outcast, he was a sinner, according to the theology, and Imagine the loneliness, because when people would throw some food or coins at him, they never spoke to him. They just kept going and walking, ignoring him, throwing him the food. So imagine all day sitting there having people throw food and money at you. Well, when Bartimaeus woke up this day of the gospel, he probably figured today's going to be like every other day of my life. I'm going to go and I'm going to be sitting at where I beg and hoping people give me something and I'll be there in my loneliness. Well, he gets there and they say if you lose one of your senses, your other senses really pop up. So could you imagine what his senses were like when it came to hearing, if he was blind? And so he's hearing this. He's feeling the emotion, the excitement of people running, hearing their, their, their joy. And he's saying, what's going on? What's going on? And, and you know, he, someone finally told him it was Jesus. He was coming here. And so he said, this might be my lucky day. This might be the day I've been praying for. But no one is going to help him, so he's going to take matters into his own hands. So imagine as the crowd gets louder and he could tell Jesus is moving because they're saying, Jesus, this healer is coming. And his life was going to change, he hoped. So he's yelling out, Jesus, son of David, have pity, jumping up and down. People telling him to shut up. Jesus, shut up. Jesus, shut up. Imagine the scene. And Jesus, if he didn't hear all this commotion, we need to check his hearing. So Jesus says, call him. I love the same people that just told him to shut up are now calling him over. And he said, what do you want me to do for you? The stupidest question ever asked in the history of the world. Jesus, why were you so dumb? Jesus, he's blind, you're a faith healer. What do you think he wants, a cup of coffee? But friends, you and I know Jesus is not dumb. 
He gave Bartimaeus something that nobody gave Bartimaeus, respect. He loved him and respected to know what he wanted. He knew what he wanted. He knew he's Jesus. But he gave him dignity, and he said, what do you want? He said, I want to see. And he didn't say, okay, I'll get back to you. He didn't say, I'll tell you tomorrow. He didn't say, how do you spell Bartimaeus? I'll have my people check you out. He didn't do any of that. He simply said, go, your faith has saved you. Friends, you and I are Bartimaeus. Every one of us has our own things that keep us from being our best. And so what do you want Jesus to do for you this week? And how are you willing and ready to accept it? So friends, how good it is that we are here. Let us follow the example of Bartimaeus. Let's never give up and let us know how we are loved. And as we begin this new week, let us truly be open to what Jesus wants from us. So please pray for me as I begin a parish mission this week at Holy Family, October 27, 28, 29. So if you're out in the Shorewood area, look, look us up. And I hope that uh, all of our children will have a safe Halloween and that we will all celebrate All Saints and All Souls Day with great solemnity and joy. So thank you for being here. Please press like. It helps us get the message out to more. Please be an evangelizer. Never give up and know how much you're loved. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.